community. I mean, this type of event really would impact any city, impact any town. But Las Vegas, it's different. You think of all the people that come here to see the sites, to see the Las Vegas Strip. But there is a community that lives here year round. This is their home. And we want to talk to them about how this tragedy has transformed where they live. Las Vegas is a spectacle, an adult playground, a desert oasis to come and gamble and part of your troubles away. Many see Vegas like that, but not Ruth Kylie. It's just too crowded, too busy. You probably get tired of it after a while yeah, too. Like yeah. it doesn't have the spectacle that maybe other people It's see. not a real life, it's a fantasy life. She's lived in Las Vegas for more than 60 years. To her, what makes this city special isn't the lights or the casinos. The thing about this town is that my heart is here. My three kids live here, five of my six grandchildren live here. It's, it's home to me. And that made last year's attack personal. I mean, emotionally, what was that like for you when it happened? I was completely shocked. I was watching television and they broke in with the news. It's hard to grasp that that's happening. I've heard people say this about the school shootings and all that sort of thing. It's hard to believe it's happening to you or to your town or to your school or your place of business. But that's the way it felt. It, it's hard to believe because Vegas is known for being <laughs> sin city, but not that kind of sin. And while this attack has brought the community together, it also has reached far and wide. You begin to put it past you. There were several people that were part of the, the town, but there were so many of them that were from out of state. So it doesn't just make Vegas, it takes in the whole country. What is Vegas strong when you hear that, you know, a year later, just as someone who has been here for so long, what does it mean to you? Do you well, that we're willing to fight back in a way and to get back on with our, our, um, our daily lives, but not to forget what happened and try never to have that happen again.